So this morning we continue our series of reports helping you and your family avoid mosquito bites. Ah, they're such a pain, aren't they? So yesterday we showed you the bug sprays and wipes ranked the best by Consumer Reports. This morning we are focusing on what attracts these pesky insects. Dr. Phil Kaler is an entomologist at the University of Florida. He's been doing this for 47 years. He is no doubt an expert in this and is joining us via Zoom this morning. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. It's great to be with you this morning. So is there anything like scents, for example, that people wear that they inadvertently do not realize attract mosquitoes? Actually, there are a lot of odors that can attract mosquitoes and people give them off all the time. And sometimes even the perfumes that are uh, that are being worn are attractive to mosquitoes because they are attracted uh, to flowers in order to get sugars to be able to fly. So. So that's one of the things that they like are odors of flowers. Okay, that is good to know then as we think about the kind of perfumes or cologne that we wear. What about colors, doctor? Are mosquitoes attracted to certain shades or contrasts that we might that we wear? Well, actually, mosquitoes really like going to the colors red and black. And and we've we've determined that over a long period of time that they will preferentially go to, go to those particular colors. Now, when you think about it, that those may be Georgia colors. They like, <laughs> they like Georgia Bulldogs better than anyone else. We would have preferred orange and blue, but that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> right. And, and you're not just picking black and, and red just because you don't like the Bulldogs since you've worked at the University of Florida for so long. All right, so. That's right. <laughs> so I've heard the mosquitoes are attracted. Um, I heard this once to maybe bigger people because they emit more carbon dioxide, particularly pregnant women. Is there any truth to that? Actually, there's a lot of truth to that. And when we ha we grow a lot of mosquitoes in our laboratory and we keep them in screen cages, and when we have tour groups come through, we play a game which is who's most attractive. And we don't turn the mosquitoes loose on them. What we do is we give them a rock to rub and they rub the rock for about a minute and then place the rock on top of a screen cage. And the mosquitoes will preferentially go to one person over another. And it's because of the oils and, and heat from their hands and carbon dioxide from their breath and the uh, the lactic acid and sweat and things that are transferred to the rock. And that's why the mosquitoes will go to one rock over another. And that way, the person that's most attractive is actually the loser. Right, <laughs> right. Because who wants to be bitten by mosquitoes? So, so for example, if you're out and you are exercising and you're really sweating, could that then attract more more mosquitoes because of the sweat? Oh, yes, that sweat is going to be very attractive to mosquitoes. And actually, uh, mosquitoes like going to socks because of foot odor, and they also enjoy going to shoes. So if you take your shoes off outside and place them next to the door outside, then the mosquitoes will be attracted to the shoe and then follow you into the house when you open the door. Oh, my goodness, so good to know. Okay, so then, then that said, is there anything that we can take to ward them off? You know, I've heard before about taking garlic tablets, and that can, you know, maybe during the really bad mosquito months. Does that work? Well, actually, uh, garlic is reported to be uh, repellent to mosquitoes and fleas and other insects. I've never seen any data that, that documents that. Now, it may repel other people, but it may not repel mosquitoes. So what about, you know, we see about the um, bug zappers. I mean, I know that you've created the Insecto for the military, which we actually tested, and it works fantastic, being used now in Atlantic Beach as well around certain parks. What about bug zappers and citronella candles? Do those work getting rid of mosquitoes? This is the Insecto. Yeah, a lot of the bug zappers. A lot of the bug zappers will kill a lot of insects that you don't really care about killing. Like 90% of what they kill are not things that are dangerous to you at all. And so the bug zappers have limited e efficacy. If you notice the, uh, the insecto trap that I was one of the inventors of, and the University of Florida owns the patents uh, and license it to a Florida company. Uh, that is a red and black color. The mosquitoes are attracted to it because of the high humidity inside. You just put water inside and then, then the mosquitoes will enter, contact this, the surface on the inside and then die. Dr. Uh, Kaler, thank you so much. I've learned so much through this interview. I appreciate your time this morning. Thank you.